Anthony Alfredo here. I hope you're all having a great day. This is episode five of Beyond the Helmet. Today we're gonna have a really cool day. I'm gonna bring you along for the ride. It's currently about 6.30 a.m. Um, I got up around six and got some stuff done before I am about to leave now to go to Toyota Racing Development, TRD, to go use the simulator, the real deal, big, crazy simulator. So that's gonna be awesome. That's gonna help me prepare for Atlanta where my first NASCAR Gander Outdoors Truck Series Race of the Year in my career, my debut, will be. So we're actually testing there at the end of the month. So this is like a test for a test that's for a race. So we're testing for the test, but obviously it's on the simulator and it should help me out a lot. I'm really looking forward to it, what it feels like and all. I've never been on a simulator like that, obviously besides just like eye racing, but this is full motion like crazy. Like you actually have to wear all your gear and stuff. So it's gonna be super cool. We're gonna go to the shop after that, probably grab some lunch, get a couple things done. And then I have racing with fans tonight as well. So I've actually got to run over there now, but I'll talk to you guys on the way. All right, so I'm sitting in my truck right now. I can talk to you guys for a second while I let it warm up. But today was super frustrating because like I said in that last clip, I got up around six um, and I had to leave just a little bit after 6.30. I wanted to do some things before that, but I, it's so funny because I saw a meme on Instagram just the other day about when you wake up like two minutes before your alarm and how annoying that is. Well, I woke up like 30 minutes before my alarm at 5.30 with the worst bloody nose I've ever had, like literally pouring out of both nostrils, like so fast. Like I feel like I lost a lot of blood. <laughs> it was ridiculous. And you know, I'm stuck like standing over the sink with it bleeding out because like I made it to the bathroom like holding my hand under my nose so I didn't get blood all over the carpet or anything. And I was there for like 15 minutes till it stopped. It was horrible. So it took forever and then I was finally able to go back to sleep and I only had like 15 minutes left to sleep. And, I, and at that point I just couldn't sleep. I was just laying there, so super frustrated, but oh well. I'm about to drive to TRD now. It's, it's a little bit of a longer ride, so leaving a little bit early just in case I hit any traffic on the way but I'm really excited to go to I've been practicing a lot on eye racing just to get like the visuals and stuff and kind of prepare myself for this just so I waste as little time getting used to it but this is going to really help me especially when getting comfortable for our test at Atlanta so like I said before it's kind of funny it's like we're testing on the simulator four hour test which is obviously for our race but I need all that seat time all the seat time I can get really um I have none in a truck yet um only been on one mile and a half so far so this is going to be really beneficial to me um i heard a lot of drivers get sick on it because it just messes with your depth perception and it you know it's a full motion sim so it's easy to get sick so i only brought a protein bar to eat on the way because uh, they told me to eat light so i don't feel that way um because it could definitely mess you up a little bit but we're scheduled for four hours eight to twelve so it's going to be really cool i'm excited to bring guys along for the ride and then uh we're gonna stop by the shop try to get some stuff done there uh, come home, do some homework. I got a couple things on the list and then obviously racing with fans tonight. Nonetheless, let's get on our way. There it is. Wow, what a beautiful building. It's a really cool facility. I can't wait to get inside. So I just left TRD, Toyota Racing Development. Unfortunately, you can't take any pictures or any videos because there's no cameras allowed. So I couldn't give you guys an inside look as it's all confidential. I'm driving to the shop now. I'm gonna get something to eat uh, nearby before I head in there, but um, what an incredible setup they have there. First of all, the facility's awesome. A lot of cool stuff and I know a lot of hard work and you know, research and dedication and engineering, a ton of stuff went into building that simulator because it is insane how realistic it is and how beneficial it is for a driver. So I'm really looking forward to getting to Atlanta now and uh, Las Vegas as well. I did a little bit of testing there just to compare and, and see how close it really does relate and maybe go back after and compare the two. It's just really hard to get time there because Toyota has a lot of drivers that utilize it there and obviously they're doing testing regularly you know all day so hopefully we can get back there soon but i'm really grateful to have been able to go there because that's a tool that a lot of people aren't able to use so it's like i said very beneficial and gonna help me out a lot everybody over there is great they're really helpful and i learned a lot so 
like I said, I'm very excited to get to the racetrack and, uh, you know, be one step ahead of the competition, hopefully. Now I understand what they were saying because it easily does make you feel nauseous, mostly because it just messes with your depth perception and it's, you know, three dimensional. So it, it starts feeling really weird and just it, it's full motion and it's got, you know, G4 simulation and stuff like that, that messes with your head and makes you feel a little bit nauseous if you stay in there for a long period of time, especially because, you know, it's all dark in there just so you can see the, see what's going on. All right, so just ate a bomb salad uh, right before heading to the shop. I'm gonna go over there now, um, get a couple things done, some meetings, talk with the guys. Um, and I really wanna do a video like called meet the crew or something or meet the team and introduce you guys to all the guys who are gonna be on my crew this year. So let me know what you think about that and if that's something that interests you. If you think that'd be a cool video, I think it'd be really neat and a lot of fun to make. Hey everybody, so I just got back from the shop. Uh, got a lot of stuff done there. I actually showed you my Atlanta truck, so that's really cool. We got the power plant putting it today. Had a quick video of them putting the engine in it and obviously getting ready for that. Got a few other things done. Things are really moving along. The season is coming soon. I mean, it's, it's so close, so I'm super excited and I've been counting the days ever since we first got this deal started but I'm definitely more excited than ever before, especially after testing on the simulator today. What a cool experience that was and super helpful. Um, I learned a lot and that's got me so excited to get back into the seat of a race car. So that's gonna be really cool. Like I said before, getting basically just the final things done, waiting on my new suit. Um, I'm gonna do a paint scheme reveal. Once all that's done, I'll do a uh, a reveal of my fire suit and stuff once I get all of that. I want to show you guys something cool that I did to my iRacing rig if you haven't seen uh, my Instagram story. So I actually mounted my real race car steering wheel, my MPI steering wheel, to the Logitech G27 steering wheel, which is really cool. Let me know if you want me to do like a detailed look at that and definitely a simulator tour. I feel like I've said that in a lot of videos. I'm definitely doing that. So uh, I'll have that done. Uh, I might get the custom um, paddle shifters that go with the wheel because if I'm doing like um, road racing in like a road course car, uh, I'll need those linked up and I can't reach the small ones. Like they're too short when you put the bigger wheel on them. But that's pretty cool. I wanted to show you guys that. And like I said, I'm going to do a simulator tour in my next video. And as far as what I've got going on for the rest of the day, not a whole lot. I'm about to do... Uh, quite a bit of homework, and then I'm going to try my best to pre-record a couple of YouTube videos, hopefully two, if not one at the very least, because I wanna upload uh, regularly for you guys and I have a busy week coming up, so I wanna be able to have those uh, set to upload and obviously edited and everything already done, so I could just go ahead and upload them um, when the time comes, and I think that's it. I mean, the last thing I'll be doing after that is racing with fans tonight. There's not a whole lot else for me to film and show you guys because I'm just going to be inside the rest of the day um, besides the gym. So I got to go there and get my workout in quick. And then from then on, I'm going to get those other things done that I just mentioned to you. Um, and I'll be live streaming tonight with Racing with Fans, as I mentioned before. So that'll be live. You'll be able to watch that. So that's pretty much it. I'm going to get on with the rest of my night and get those things done. I hope you all enjoyed watching. I really appreciate it. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye.